one, so let's have our module two. Under module two, we have our topic about vector. And what is a vector? So vector is a combination of both a magnitude and direction. Under this one, we have our vector addition. So what is a vector addition? This is like an ordinary numbers, two or more vectors that we can add or either subtract from another vectors and the result would be our resultant vectors so what is this resultant vector this is a combination of all the vectors that we either add or subtract so for us to um, know this vector addition let's go over first or let's let's review first our direction let's associate that one in our cartesian plane so for our positive y-axis, let's have our north here. Then positive x-axis, our east. Negative x-axis for west. And the negative y-axis is for south. So let's apply this one using this, um, uh, this example. So let's have 30 degrees north of east. So how can we um, measure, how can we illustrate this one in our Cartesian plane? So, 30 degrees using our protractor, we can have 30 degrees north of east. So, ibig sabihin east papuntang north. So, we need to align this protractor to the, in the x-axis. So, let's have here. East papuntang north. So, pataas siya. So, 30 degrees. So, let's start here. Let's have here the 30 degrees. So, let's have here. So, this is... 30 degrees north of east. Next, 40 degrees north of west. So, west papuntang north. So, pataas. So, let's align again in the x-axis, the protractor. Then, let's have 40 degrees. So, 40 degrees. So, there. So, here. This is our 40 degrees north of west. Next, lastly, 50 degrees south of east. East papunta south. So, let's align again in the x-axis. Since east yan papunta south. So, let's have here, there. So, let's have our line. So, here's our 50 degrees. That is a 50 degrees south of east. Okay, let's have another example for us to apply our direction. So, let's have vector A. Vector A is at 30 degrees counterclockwise with respect to the x-axis. So, using our protractor, sorry. So, positive x-axis, dito tayong positive x-axis, 30 degrees counterclockwise. So, pataas, counterclockwise. So, 30 so there you have it. So there. So this is our 30 degrees with respect to our positive x-axis counter clockwise. So the arrow must be there. Next, vector C is at 98 degrees clockwise with respect to the negative y-axis. So where is our negative y-axis in the south? So, let's have our protractor since this is a negative. So, let's start here. Since clockwise siya, so dito tayo mag-uumpisa pataas. So, let's have 98 degrees. So, 90 dito. Then, let's have 98. So, let's start here. So, this is our 98 degrees. So, don't forget the arrow. So, clockwise so with respect to the negative y-axis. Lastly, the uh, vector E is at southeast. What do you mean by southeast, northeast, northwest, and so on? So, this means it has a 45 degree angle. So, always, pag may, wala kayong makitang off in between the um, direction, southeast, northwest, um, southwest, and so on, it has a 45 degree degree angle angle i'm sorry so south east so in between so let's have a 45 degrees 45 so in between this one so this is our vector so a 
scene. So that's it. Okay, let's move on. So we have here our methods in vector addition. So there are two methods in vector addition, the graphical and the analytical method. So let's start first with our graphical. In graphical method, there are two methods under graphical. Uh, first is polygon method. So what is this polygon method? This is what we call the head to tail method and it uh, it will just connect the vectors continuously and in parallelogram this create or draw parallel lines to the two adjacent angles so i will just emphasize in graphical method there are no formula here so this is purely measurements using a measuring devices like a ruler for the resultant and for the direction of the resultant which is the angle we can use our protractor okay to differentiate this method pa polygon and parallelogram let's have an example so we have here two vectors a is 150 centimeter west and vector b has 110 centimeter 60 degrees south of east so using our measuring device like ruler let's uh let's illustrate this one first is polygon method so this is head to tail method so let's first have, let's create, so where is our west? So here, since this is our east, north, south, so west. So let's have here 150. Okay, this is our vector A. Next, vector B, 110 centimeters, 60 degrees south of east. So let's create here. Let's just have our south of east. So south east. So east papuntang south. So let's have 60. So we will be measuring 110. 110. So this is our 60 degrees this is our vector so there next we will be um solving or we will be uh, measuring the resultant where is our resultant vector we will just be connecting the head and the tail of vector a and vector b so the tail of vector b a a, a until the head of the vector b so this is our resultant and for our angle or direction of our resultant yeah. always guys the direction of our resultant must line on the x-axis so there so for us to know what is our resultant so we need to measure using our ruler so we can have our resultant has a 134 centimeters so how about the direction of the Resultant. So, using our protractor, we can measure this one. So, 0, let's have 47. 47 degrees. How about the direction? It's obviously, it's south of west. So, west papuntang south. So, this is south of west. This is based on polygon method. How about in parallelogram? In parallelogram, we will just be creating parallel lines to each of the vectors. So let's start. So 150 for vector A. So let's start here. 150. So this is our vector A, 150. How about for vector B? You will just continue here. You will start on the tail of uh, vector A since this is south of east so dito tayo magumpisa sa uh, east papuntang south 60 degrees so there then measure it 110 let's align 110 so this is our vector B so the angle is here 60 degrees then after which let's have parallel lines let's create parallel lines for vector a so let's have here parallel lines nya 
for us to have an exact para lines for the um, vector B, let's have, let's measure the 60 degrees. So there, just have a line here, then create a parallel lines. So there. How about the resultant? How can we know the resultant of our vectors? Just connect the tail of vector A and vector B to the intersection of this parallel line. So this is our resultant. And for our angle is here. So let's measure if it is the same with our polygon method. So we can have 134 centimeters. Then for the angle... We have here 47 degrees. Then the direction is south of west. So there, this is our polygon and parallelogram method.